What's good YouTube? So word on the street is you guys want my sigs, my dribble moves, and luckily for you guys, all you need is an 87 ball handle and a 75 speed ball. That is definitely doable for most builds. Like if you're six seven and under, you should have that. But if you're six eight, you can get most of my sigs at six eight. But mainly six seven and under for the best sigs in the game. These sigs are so good. This is a highly requested video. You guys have been asking for my sigs my drill moves for a long time now i see i see the comments i see the comments so today i'm be showing off my new and improved six you're gonna be dribbling like a dribble god after today's video but before we get into the six make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on that noti bell so you never miss a stream or a video if you're one of the first people to come in noti gain or noti squad i will be putting your name on the screen just like these beautiful people right here and without further ado let's get straight into this video let's go all right so for these sigs as you can see i'm on my two-way slashing playmaker and all you really need is an 87 ball handle technically you need an 86 i mean you could probably get most of my drill moves with the 85 but 86 ball handle is very big you get a really good dribble move with the 86 ball handle so if you're around that range this video is going to be perfect for you also yes this is these are the same dribble moves i use for my point center my two-way slashing playmaker my slashing playmaker basically all my all my builds i use the same sigs and these right here are the sigs i use for all my builds starting off with the dribble style like i said all you need is a 75 speed with ball and the dribble style i like to use is lebron james i don't know just when i'm comboing just the space the speed boost everything about lebron is just really good for taller players if you're a taller guard and you, you like to combo up and dribble lebron james is honestly perfect 75 speed with ball is all you need another good one is like pro I know Pro is a good dribble style. It might not be as good as LeBron, but Pro is pretty decent if you don't have a 75 speed ball. If you don't have a 75 speed ball, you low-key messed up your build, but hey, it's between Pro and LeBron James. So you could try both of them out and uh, tell me which one you like better. Me personally, I like the LeBron James dribble style. Next up, we got the signature size up. Now I use D-Wade, but uh, De'Aaron Fox is also pretty decent. You got other ones like James Harden. I don't know. I, me personally, I really like D-Wade. It's like really good when you're comboing up. It goes very well when you're just comboing other moves together and chaining them together. Me personally, I think D-Wade is just a solid size up. Nothing much to it. Some people don't even really use size ups that much. But if you use signature size ups, D-Wade is pretty solid. Or you could go with De'Aaron Fox. Now for the regular breakdown combo. I use Pro. Pro, like it only requires a semi ball handle, but as you can see, you get like a little hezzy. It's really good with combo in, and it's just like it goes with good with every combo. I'm not gonna lie, regular breakdown combo pro is definitely one of the best. I mean, you have some other good ones like De'Aaron Fox or like James Harden. I don't know, me personally, I really like pro. It doesn't really re require that much of, of, a, of a ball handle, so basically, anyone can use this. Like, I just like how he does that little hezzy. You know what I'm saying? It just looks so clean and it goes really well with all my other combo moves. So for regular breakdown combo, I use pro. Got the aggressive breakdown combo. Now, I really like John Morant. There's like this glitchy spin you could do with John Morant, but it's not all about the glitchy Steezo like spin. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not that, that move is not even that good. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's just like a fun move to use. But altogether, this aggressive breakdown just goes really well with other moves. You know, I'm someone who likes a combo a lot of moves together i like to combo up all my dribble moves as you can see your player creates a lot of space with this move and if you chain this together with like a behind the back or like a step back or something you're gonna be going crazy i'm not gonna lie so for aggressive breakdown combo i really do like john morant and all you need is a 75 ball handle for this combo right here not this combo this sig right here next up this is by far the most important move in the game Kemba Walker is the best escape move by far. The fact that big guards could get this escape move is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, like this this escape move is just as good as Trey Young. Matter of fact, some little guards use Kemba Walker over Trey Young. That's how good it is. Kemba Walker is the best sig in the game. That's why I said you need like an 87 ball handle. Well, a sig that's coming up very shortly requires an 87 ball handle, but if you don't have an 87, at least try to get an 86 because an 86 ball handle is crucial to dribbling in this game because like this sig right here this Kemba walker skate move allows you to just create so much space out of any move it creates a lot of space your skate moves are op like Kemba walker is just so good for comboing for dribbling for speed boosting 
basically everything Kemba Walker has a big part in that so make sure you get Kemba Walker escape move it's just the most important drill move in the game by far next up we have combo moves and as you can see from my my player this is like the Westbrook crossover from last year it's really glitchy you can really like phase through people like you see that move right there that move right there is extremely broken pro players like Joe knows I just said Joe knows is a pro player I mean Joe knows he could be a pro player but people like Joe knows use this move a lot and it's just really good like his combo moves James Harden's combo moves are very solid and fluent you know what I'm saying? You create a lot of space. They're very glitchy. And you could crab people with that move right there. It's like really glitchy. I'm telling you right now that James Harden combo moves is very, very solid. And all you need is an 80 ball handle. So if you're like 6'8", you can low-key get... You could get most of my six if you're like 6'8". But next up for crossover, a lot of people like De'Aaron Fox. A lot of people like Kobe Bryant. But my personal favorite is John Wall. I mean, I think this is everyone's favorite. Most... YouTubers and most people in general use John Wall. John Wall is just the fastest crossover in the game. You know, it's very close between John Wall and Kobe Bryant, but me personally, I like John Wall way better. I haven't even really tried Kobe Bryant. I just seen other people use it, and John Wall just looks way better. John Wall crossover is actually really glitchy. A lot of people spam this little crossover to get to the rim, so make sure you have this on. You could combo it with other moves. It's one of the best sigs in the game other than Kemba Walker's skate moves. This move is just so glitchy. You can literally win a whole game just spamming this crossover, so definitely put on John Wall crossover. Next up, we got behind the back, and this is why I have an 87 ball handle. It's because I really like the Tyrese Halliburton behind the back. A lot of people love the Jamal Murray, but me personally, I think Tyrese Halliburton just goes better when you're actually like trying to combo up and you know chain moves together jamal murray creates more space but like it's, it's i don't know the animation is too it, it takes too long and uh the tyrese Halliburton, in my opinion is just way faster and it creates more space it catches people off guard way better than the jamal murray i mean jamal murray is really good don't get me wrong and if you want to keep using jamal murray it's up to you but me personally i like tyrese Halliburton way better and it got a decent move in behind the back the Jamal Murray moving behind the back is actually like really bad so if you want a good moving and a good standing I think all around Tyrese Halliburton is a way better behind the back that's in my opinion that's what I use so my opinion spin doesn't really matter you know when I'm comboing up sometimes I just do random spins you know what I'm saying just for no reason to be honest I mean I'd be spinning a good amount but I don't know I don't really use it that much but the best spin, in my opinion, is Jimmy Butler. It's very fast and, and uh, explosive. You can catch people off guard with the spin. So if you want a really good spin, put on Jimmy Butler. All it requires is a 75 speed with ball. Or not, not speed with ball, but ball handle, 75. Next up, we got the hesitations. For a while, I used Chris Paul. But to be, to be honest, I don't know. Chris Paul is really good. I just think pro is way better. I'm not gonna lie. But I like pro, it's just way faster. You could crab people. It's just more like consistent when it comes to like crabbing people and comboing together with other moves. Chris Paul is good, don't get me wrong, but pro is just way faster and way better. And lastly, we have the Luka step back. The move at step back is extremely overpowered. It gets you wide open sometimes. And the step back just goes better when you're comboing moves together. When you're like sitting there comboing, Luka is just way better than John Wall in my opinion. But John Wall does have the LeBron step back, so if you like the LeBron step back, it might be a hard one to to replace. But I like Luka way better. In my opinion, Luka just has the overall better, you know, step back package. But John Wall is pretty good. The only thing I don't like about John Wall is the moving step back. You know how it throws you out of bounds? Like you see that animation right there? That animation always throws me out of bounds. It just pisses me off. So I went with the Luka step back. All right, so I'm gonna just show you one quick game of me dribbling. I just wanna show you how I dribble. I end up matching up against this like famous TikToker. This man has like a million followers on TikTok. Dre stupid, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna do any talking. I'm just gonna break down the gameplay into like some highlights. And you can just hear him talking in the background. I might put some background music or something. But I'm not gonna do too much talking. I'm just gonna show you a quick little game and then I'll do like an outro or something. But hey man, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. Let's go. Come on. You got faith in me. 
do? You want to back up my win? Alright. i let you down. I'm losing right now, seven. Damn, nigga, doing too much. Okay, but well, again, okay. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Where's nigga doing to me? Where's 19 0? I'll leave that score. Hey, bro, let me score, bro. Don't let me be no bitch. Come on, gang. You gotta let me be. Right, I'm gonna get a bucket for you. I, got, I ain't no hope. I'm gonna get a stop for you. what I tell you? what I tell you? I got a stop for you. And God, I swear to God, I got a stop. Let him score. There ain't no fucking hope. I f score. What I tell you? Hey, 19 Yeah. Come on. Come on. I got you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Come on, Drake. Come on, Drake. Drake. Cheer for me. Cheer for me. We got four. Let's get it. 19, come back of the year. Yeah, I was just playing with your ass, nigga. Skipping through that lane, bitch ass, nigga. The fuck wrong with you? Damn, you got a block. <laughs> this nigga said shit, pain. What the fuck wrong with you, bitch? I'm gonna get a post on me, bro. It ain't happening. I'm fucking this hole. I'll do this for you, girl. You, you hear me? You're trying to beat me, bro. He beat me. He beat me. That's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully my six, my drill moves end up helping you guys just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna go crazy, move like a dribble guide that I would definitely put on my six, you know what I'm saying? They do be going crazy, but hey, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys have a blessed day and peace.